I don't script, I'm improvisation all the way. So today I'm going to be giving you guys a tutorial on how to trade between GameCube Pokemon games and Game Boy Advance Pokemon games on an emulator. So recording me forgot to check the audios and uh, I was left with some really loud emulator audio here so I'm gonna have to, uh, editing me here is gonna have to fill in all the uh, narration. And we also will have no game audio, so that's fun. But you can see what's going on. Anyway, you have to complete your GameCube game, and then also complete your Game Boy Advance game. Now, completing the Game Boy Advance games means beating the Hall of Fame, and on Fire Red and Leaf Green, it also means completing some extra quests in the uh, Seven Isles. I'm not going to spoil anything there if you've never gone over there. It's pretty simple stuff. Uh, yeah. Once you've accomplished those things, you're going to come here in the Pokemon Center in the city I am showing on screen in both Coliseum or XD, and you're going to go into the basement and talk to this nice lady and tell her that you'd like to trade. Now this will save your game, and obviously that's not going to be a big deal for you unless you're trying to cheat or something like that. Once you have saved your game, you're going to be taken to this GBA Connect screen. And uh, obviously you need to save it at Pokemon Center. Uh, says that on screen, so I didn't think I need to state that, but just in case. So now you're going to go into controllers on your Dolphin emulator, and you're going to change your port 2 to GBA. Now what this will do is make it so that your VBA emulator can access Dolphin. And now we go back to Dolphin here. And then we also open up our Visual Boy Advance, and we go over to Options go go over to options and then we go down and set link to GameCube and uh, I think I did that in the wrong order when I recorded this so I ended up closing the Game Boy Advance emulator and then reopening it and we'll cut to that so if this doesn't work your first attempt just restart VBA like I did and it worked for me here so go into file and then open whatever game you're going to be trading from and then as soon as you open that game, you're going to go up to File again, and then go down to Import, and click Battery File. And then you're going to import whatever your save is that you've been playing. You can choose to back it up if you want. I've never had a problem with uh, not backing it up, but if you want to play it safe, back it up. So if your Game Boy Advance game goes past this screen and starts going into the intro of your game, it's not going to work close VBA and reopen it and it should work. If that doesn't work, maybe try restarting Dolphin. Otherwise, I don't know, if you followed all the steps in this video, it should work. Keep in mind that when you are selecting the Game Boy Advance Pokemon you want to trade over to the GameCube game, you need to be using the Game Boy Advance emulator's controls to select that Pokemon. Um, other than that, I don't think there's really anything else I need to talk about. Uh, if you do have any questions, you can leave them in the comments. I can't guarantee that I can help you with all of the questions, but I will try my best. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and leave a like if it helped, and yeah. Have a wonderful day.